Okay, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I have a very exciting announcement. Actually, two announcements in one. So let's get coffee, let's get talking. So yes, we are doing Summerween once again. This is the second round. I feel like we've already been doing this forever. If you don't know what Summerween is, basically it is a spooky summer readathon that Gabby from Gabby Reads and I host and hopefully it's going to be for every year of the foreseeable future because I'm very excited. We also do a winter one, which we just did in January, which was winter ween. So maybe you have heard of that one or summer ween. Either way, we're doing it again. And I'm here to give you all the prompts, the dates, and a very exciting launch that will be happening right before it starts. So as far as the dates go, we are gonna be doing it from July 2nd to July 8th. We changed it to July because personally, I just feel like that is a more summer time. August, listen, I, I say it all the time. August 1st is Halloween first for me, for in this household. So I really wanted to switch it more into summer. Also because personally, I'm a teacher and I know a lot of y'all are in school or have to follow along with school because of kids or whatever the case is. So it being in the middle of summer, like true summer, I feel like it gives a lot more time to a lot more people. So that is why we switched it then. I think it's gonna be great. I am very, very excited. So if you don't wanna pull out a calendar, just to let you know, the second falls on a Friday, so we will be starting this off strong on a Friday evening. I'm very happy about it. Technically, I'll start it at Thursday midnight, which is going into Friday. I feel like sometimes it's difficult to explain what midnight I'm talking about, but technically, if you haven't slept yet, Thursday going into Friday, that midnight, Central Standard Time is when I'll be starting it. I probably will be doing sprints on my Patreon for it because I, I'm really excited now and that will help keep me awake. If y'all have attended my sprints on Patreon, you know I have issues not getting sleepy during sprints, so I'm gonna have to build up my stamina to that, but that's kind of what I'm hoping to do on the second. So it'll go through until that following Thursday, which, might I add, I'm pretty excited that uh, this year's round of Summerween falls on the week of my birthday, July 6th, hey -o. I'm so excited to have this super fun, creepy readathon going on while I am turning the old age of 26, getting kicked off my parents' insurance, but it's fine. But I have Summerween, so it's all good. Truly, it's all good. So. I don't know about Gabby. I know she's probably vlogging it because truly the queen of vlogs, but I think as of now, if everything goes according to plan, I am going to be daily vlogging this. So I'll be uploading the next morning. So Friday's vlog will go up Saturday and then continue on until that last Thursday's goes up that Friday. And so it'll just be a week of filming, a week of editing, a week of reading. I think it'll be fun. I know that some people think that that is absolutely crazy to do daily vlogs. I think so too, uh, but I really like to have, if I know there's a week where I'm gonna do it, I like to have that week set aside to do that. And I know that last year some people daily vlogged and I was kind of like, man, I'm slacking. Why am I not even daily vlogging my own readathon? So I'm gonna do it this year and I'm hyper and I'm excited and I can't wait to do it. So let's get into all of the prompts. So the first prompt, of course, we are gonna have our, I think this is gonna be our staple prompt. It's gonna be on every single one. We tried to include some that kind of go along with the reading so they're not book specific so that everyone can complete the prompts because I love a checklist, but I hate a checklist that's not checked off, you know? So the first one, is our signature prompt, which is read in the dark. So this can be interpreted, I personally think, any way you want. If you wanna turn off all the lights, but it's still noon where you are, but the room is technically dark, go for it. If you want to be like my friend Katie, who was reading in her bathroom, 
you know what? That's dark too. It's great. If you actually want to wait until nighttime, I think that's a good time too. I'm probably going to do the at nighttime and I might use a flashlight just to up the creep factor because I want to read a horror specifically at night because I want to try to scare myself, basically. So then next up, we are going to have read a paranormal book. So this can include anything you deem paranormal. I'm thinking ghosts, demons, poltergeists, entities of all the varieties. You could personally, I, I would think, you know, you can include some cryptids. I know technically cryptids don't fall into paranormal, but for this case, I think we can make an exception and we can allow the cryptid community into our paranormal time. <laughs> don't you? I do too. So yeah, any book that has anything to do with slightly paranormal stuff, go for it. Then the third one is read a horror. So this is basically just a genre pick. This one can go along with if you find a paranormal horror, if you read a horror in the dark, you can kind of pair up these prompts really easily, which was kind of the goal. And then read a book with Halloween colors on the cover. So this is going to be our typical orange or black. For me, I kind of also associate purple and green like together with Halloween. So I might try to challenge myself to find a book that has purple, green, orange, and black on the cover just to make it a little harder. But it's not meant to be a super hard read a thought. I mean, we're just having a good time, right? So just orange and black. If you find those on the cover, you have found your book for this prompt. And then the last one was one that I really wanted because I am me, no one's surprise. It is bake or make a drink or treat to go along with your spooky reads. So I am going to attempt, just as an example, I'm going to make some pumpkin bread that week. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to attempt to make my own pumpkin spice latte that week. Hasn't gone well in the past, but we can only hope for better things now. And then finally, I'm going to try to make some cookies. I don't know if they'll be, I might make pumpkin crumble cookies or I might make sugar cookies that are shaped like ghosts and stuff and then decorate them. I'm not really sure which one. Honestly, it just depends on the ingredients that my uh, target has for me to grab. But luckily, craft stores have started putting out some Halloween stuff, so it may be really, really easy for me to find the uh, little cookie cutters for spooky cookies. So there you go. That's an example if you need one. But I would think, honestly, any kind of drink or treat would go with this. I just like to add like the spooky factor to it because... I just desperately want it to be Halloween. I don't know if you can tell. That's kind of the whole reason for this entire readathon is that one day of Halloween simply isn't enough. We need a week in the middle of July and Halloween. <laughs> well, all of October for me. So for myself, I am going to probably put out a recommendations video closer to the starting date of Summerween just for each prompt. See, like I might list some recipes. If y'all are interested in that, I will probably put just horror books that I think are good, plus some other ones I've heard of. I'll list some paranormal books. I will list books that are creepy to read in the dark, just stuff like that. So if you need help, fret not. I do plan to put a video out to give some recommendations for that, just in case anyone's looking for some. But now, on to the very exciting announcement. Drum roll, please. This is my drums. Do you like them? We are collabing with Happy Go Lovely Sleeves, who is my favorite book sleeve shop of all time ever. Amen. Also, she's my friend, so I'm biased, but I'm also right. So we are collabing to come up with three different book sleeves and happy corners. If y'all don't know what those are, book sleeves are just things to protect your books when you put them in a backpack and stuff. I take a backpack to work and I take my purse out everywhere I go, so I like to have them there, mainly because I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I do like to take the dust covers with me for some books if I know I'm going somewhere where I could get a pretty shot for bookstagram or something and I don't want the dust cover to get ruined or exposed to any of the elements of the world. I don't know where I was going with that. But book sleeves, I have a lot of them. I love them a lot. Big advocate for book sleeves. Uh, the happy corners are these new things that she's come up with that are essentially bookmarks that you just tuck onto the corner of your book. And I just think that they're adorable. So I'm excited that we're gonna come out with those. So it's gonna be three book sleeves, three happy corners. 
And this shop, when I tell y'all it sells out so fast, it sells out so fast. So in order to make sure that everyone who does want to get some of these is able to get some, we are going to do a pre-order, which I think is so awesome. I'm so glad that she decided to go that route because I don't want anyone to miss out if they want to get a hold of these. I know she is one of the shops that I like religiously every Friday I have a timer set because if I don't get there at five, I don't get there at all because it nothing is left. So there will be a pre-order. The pre-order dates are gonna be June 18th. It's gonna be the opening day and they will close on June 20th. This is to give her enough time to try to get all of the book sleeves and happy corners made so that y'all can actually use them during Summerween, which I just, I'm so excited. Y'all know I'm gonna be using mine. I'm gonna have at least three books on this TBR just for the fact that I can have all three in these book sleeves and it is going to be one book sleeve size it's her biggest size which is called the maxi it is really good for fantasy books thicker books taller books uh, book of the month books those are the ones that I always use for book of the month books so just to give you like an idea of the height and they are fairly thick the sleeves themselves so you can really put a book in there um, so I will probably show right now some of my books in the maxi sleeves just so you can kind of get an idea of the sizing because I know when I buy book sleeves from a shop I haven't before I want to know because I mainly read bigger books so it helps to be able to actually see but of course sometimes dimensions don't really help that much online so hopefully this amazing fantastical b-roll footage has just really really enlightened you about book sleeves I feel like I'm on QVC, which is what my mom like raised me on and I'm kind of like having a little like Moment like our daily deal, you know anyways, so that is what it is. There you go We also have a code summerween to get 20% off of your entire order So definitely make sure to grab that use that it's all gonna be on Etsy everything is linked in the description and we are going to I mean, I'm gonna announce it on my Instagram and put up like a timer countdown thing so you can save it because I think those Instagram countdowns are just fabulous. They always help me um, play into consumerism. <laughs> and I never forget when something's being sold because I just have all the countdowns hooked up. But yeah, that is this year's Summerween. I am so excited and I hope you are too. Let me know down below if you've already got some books in mind, if you have some recommendations that you want me to include in my recommendations video, let me know. If you have any kind of treats or drinks that you want to try, let me know. I will try to find some for you and make that magic happen. I might even try to make actual chai. That sounds adventurous, but it's summerween, anything can happen. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. And make sure that you include a pumpkin or a ghost emoji for today's emoji of the day because, I mean, it's summerween. I'm so excited. I will talk to you guys in the comments down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.